Harvey, how you feel about uh, maybe taking a look at some library events? Quiet. All right. Diane Dahoney's here. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. It's Friday. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got events at the library this weekend. Tell yeah. us. To let, let us in. What, All what's right. going on? Well, we've got a big one coming up tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, Saturday, of course. Um, it's our Jazz Fest. Uh, it is a big community event. We've got a lot of great community partners on that. Uh, not only us, but the KJAM Collective, Visit Frankfurt, uh, Downtown Frankfurt Incorporated, um, Lex Arts. Uh, we got a lot of uh, great folks who are participating. As you can see on the flyer there, we're going to have a food truck. Community Q is going to be with us um, in the parking lot. Uh, Lexington Philharmonic will be there for the kids with their music lab. Um, and then we've got several um, either soloists or ensembles that will be uh, sharing their, their music throughout the afternoon. Um, you can see the Raleigh Daily Trio, Kirby Davis, Mary Jackson, Lachelle Allen, and then we'll wrap things up at 4 o'clock with a really special event um, that will be in the River Room, um, Jazz Meets Poetry, with former Kentucky Poet Laureate Frank X. Walker and the Keith McCutcheon Quartet. Of course, mm -hmm. Keith, um, uh, Dr. McCutcheon is yes. from Kentucky State. Yeah. Yep, yep. He was here on the show and, and told us all about it. And Wonderful. Yeah. Well, okay. we hope everybody comes out. It's totally free to the public, noon to 5. And so the outdoor stage is behind behind the library? It will be. Okay. Um, we do have a rain plan. Okay. Um, so if the weather does not cooperate, we'll just move it inside okay. And, okay. and rain or shine. Good we'll deal. Awesome. So, so that's Saturday mm -hmm. um, as part of, you know, all the things happening. And then on Monday, uh, we're going to talk more about the announcement on the Poet Laureate later in the show, but you guys have the, the Poet Laureate reading on Monday. Yes, we do. So Monday is Kentucky Writers' Day, and oh. um, we celebrate that in our Commonwealth every year um, uh, on, on or around April 24th. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, every two years, of course, that falls um, on a year that the governor appoints a new Kentucky Poet Laureate. And this year is one of those years. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday afternoon, the governor announced our 2023-2024 uh, Poet Laureate. You said you're going to talk about it mm -hmm. a little bit later, but that's going to be Silas House. We're very excited for him. Um, he's a very good friend of the, the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Um, and so they'll be inducting him at a, at a um, ceremony on Monday morning. But at the Capitol, but mm -hmm. we're going to continue that celebration later on in the afternoon at Paul Sawyer. So you, you're going to want to come to the library at 2.30. It'll be in the River Room. And we are actually hosting eight of the past Poets Laureate of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. um, just give you a list. I'm going to get my list here because I don't want to leave anybody <laughs> out. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is just an amazing group of folks. So much talent in one room. Um Dr. Richard Taylor, Joe Servant, Sina Jeter Nasland, Maureen Moorhead, Frank X. Walker, again, uh, George L. Lyon, Jeff Worley, our outgoing Kentucky Poet Laureate, Crystal Wilkinson, and then, of course, we will have Silas House, our uh, new Poet Laureate. They'll all be reading at the library. Uh, you won't want to miss that. Um, it is Monday, April 24th at 2.30 in the River Room. Big weekend at the it, library. It really is. It, it's it's going to be a big one. <laughs> uh, let's talk about let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that qualifies. That's as a, a good dad segue. Joke. I think that's a dad joke, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's going on with that? Okay, so that is actually one of our newest discussion groups at the library. It's a, a partnership with Focus on Race Relations, which is a local um, group. Christy Poe, who is the president of that organization, um, is leading this discussion for us. We had our first one um, this month, April, um, and we'll be continuing that discussion next month. The topic will be what's in a word. We're talking about terminology um, uh, and... Um, it's just a community discussion. Anybody can pop in for that. Uh, we had a really good turnout this, this month, and we hope more folks will come out and just open up that conversation about race relations in our community. And that is on May 1st at 530. Okay. And then we've got uh, Frankfurt Singing Bridge. Yes. So that's going to be a really great event. Um, I'm sure some of the folks watching know, and, and you guys may have already had it on the show, 
um, or will be, Frankfurt Heritage Week is coming up in May, um, and the library always takes part in that. Um, so we're kind of kicking off that week um, on Monday, May 8th. Um, at six o'clock with a, a program on Frankfurt Singing Bridge, and we're calling it a structure that that speaks to all who cross it. Clever, and, isn't it? Uh-huh. Um, but uh, that evening we will have Jane Henderson Goddard, who is a retired professional professional architectural historian. She's coming in to talk about. Um, the construction of the bridge, the historical engineering of the bridge. It's one of the last of its type um, Mm -hmm. in existence. Mm -hmm. Um, So that is going to be a a really nice way to uh, kick off Frankfurt Heritage Week and to participate in a week full of really great events. Awesome. And then after that, you've got an evening of poetry. I do. The the very next night, we'll be back in the River Room uh, on May 9th, again at 6 o'clock. Um, that's going to be a partnership with uh, Lexington's Accents Publishing um, and for just an evening of poetry with some Kentucky poets. Uh, LaTanya Jones and Katerina Stoikova will be joining us to share their work. We'll have a reading uh, and a signing, and, and everyone's welcome. Uh, and then story by story. Yes, again, that same week. That's a really busy week yeah. for us, if you can tell. I'll be there every night. <laughs> Well, Um, everybody else should, too. Yeah, they should. So that's actually on Thursday night of that week, um, May 11th. Um, And Story by Story, we've talked a little bit about that before. It is our uh, storytelling series, our monthly storytelling series for adults and mature teens. Mm -hmm. Uh, Storytelling is not just for kids. Uh, So this is for our grown-ups. And that evening, we'll be welcoming Sheila Arnold and Adam Booth, who are uh, nationally known, actually, you know, world-renowned storytellers. They'll be coming in um, to share with us that evening. All right. Now, I want to know about Tabletop Yeah, game. that sounds okay. like a lot of, Okay. I thought you might. I thought you might. <laughs> so we do one of these every now and then. We actually have a really uh, great gaming community at the library now. Okay. Um, every Wednesday, we host a virtual um, uh Role pairing, uh, RPG, role playing game uh-huh. uh, session um, in our Discord group. Okay. Um, so um, we've got a lot of folks who are participating from that. Once a month, we do a uh, demo day for a new RPG game. They come in and they play. But so every now and then, usually once or twice a year, uh, we'll do a full out tabletop uh, game day. So that's going to be May 13th. That's a Saturday from 12 to 3. You can just drop in. We'll be having several uh, tabletop RPG role playing game sessions going on that day. Um, you can sign up for specific specific sessions uh, on our website um, you can get our link to the discord group to sign up for those or you can come in and play board games you can bring your own or you can um, play some of the games in the library's collection and you all um, have quite a few too we, i we, noticed we the do. other day when i was yes. in there uh, oh. you know and, and i thought that was cool because like you know there's so many out there and if maybe you've heard of one mm-hmm. and you're like yeah. i want to check well, it they out can be before. pretty expensive too exactly but yeah. like but you want to try them out first right. yeah it's true a lot of people um may not know about that we, we mm-hmm. have quite a large collection you can check those out take them home play them wow. yeah. bring one back and get another yeah, one that's so, awesome um so we'll have those that day and then also we'll do be, be doing a miniature like um yeah, that you use in, in mm. some of those games, a uh, painting se- session okay. or right. painting yeah. station that day. So you can come in and do that, but um, it, it should be a fun afternoon. Yeah. Uh, and then the last thing we have on here is an evening with poet David Solner. Yes, that is another um, partnership with a local uh, business. Broadstone Books is, uh, you probably know, is a local p- uh, publishing house uh, with uh, Larry Moore is the founder of that and uh, one of their most recent uh, publications is with uh, this poet David Salner he's actually from Delaware um, and he will be in uh, in Frankfurt uh, that week and he's going to be doing a reading with us on May 23rd at six o'clock um, and David Salner has been called the poet laureate of working people um, and we're really excited to hear him read and, and to have him sign his latest collection, which was published by Broadstone Books. It's called Summer Words. Um, so we'll be, um, he'll be reading from that and discussing that that evening. I just, I want to like give you guys mad props over the next month. You're doing, you're doing live music. You're doing, uh, his, you know, history about the bridge. you got, you've got poetry, you've got, you know, community discussions, uh, Tabletop gaming, just 
great work. So, Thank you yeah, so it's much. Unbelievable. There's there really is something for everyone going on, and the majority of this is is more adults. Um, focus but the youth our youth services department is just as busy oh, yeah. as our oh, yeah. adult services yeah. um, and you can check out all that um, on our website or on our Facebook pages um, but to circle back mm-hmm. to something mm-hmm. with with our youth our wonderful youth services department um, you know it's almost May which means we're thinking about some reading yeah um, and I know so many folks in our community really look forward to that it's a fun time for all of us so summer reading uh, uh, early registration is going to be starting on May 22nd, so keep an eye out for that. There'll be more uh, prom- uh, promotions, more marketing out uh, for our upcoming summer reading program, but mark that on your calendar so you can get registered. Awesome. Um, question of the day? Yeah, yeah. Diane, I think you need to tell us if there's a, if there's a snack that you just okay. can't resist out there. Okay, so I'm going to kind of take a page from you all where you did your sweet and your, your salty. Okay, okay. okay. So sweet has to be Reese's eggs. And of course, you can only get those, you know, so, at a certain point in the year. Okay, now now time out. This is this hotly debated here on the show. <laughs> we got we got some Reese's lovers. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you, you mentioned the eggs. Mm-hmm. Is that and we're talking the big eggs, right? Yes, yes. So are you of the belief that all the bigger ones, the the pumpkin, the mm-hmm. Christmas tree, are those a better, better peanut ratio? butter to yes. chocolate? It's, right? It's the ratio. Right? It's all about the ratio. Yes. Yeah. And, and the egg and the pumpkin are better than the tree. <laughs> okay. Because the tree has more chocolate, it, right? It does. Yeah, yeah, it does. I agree. I'm, I'm so glad I'm not the only one. No, you <laughs> absolutely. So we're going to go Reese's egg on sweet and uh, salty movie theater popcorn. Oh, classic. All the time. Classic. All right. Do you have a Do you have a home theater popper? I mean, that's that's no. The next I mean, step. I would love yeah. to. Yeah. That, do you have one, Scott? I don't. I, get, it's been, the been discussed. It's yeah. been discussed, that's the next and step. we've got one that could just disappear right out here in the <laughs> lobby, but. Uh, yeah, so it's something for us to think about. There you though. go. There All you right. go. Nice. Uh, thank you so much, Diane, for being here. It's always a pleasure Thanks when you come me. in and get yeah. us caught up and looking forward to seeing you next time. All right. Love it.